It's my naked face. I have my skincare on, and we're gonna start from the bottom. So you guys actually see like what it is I do. Cause normally, normally I got foundation and stuff on. So we're gonna do this and let me not jinx myself when I say this. Natural look. Every time I say that, I start smoking stuff out. Anyways, we're gonna try out some natural concealer. I have a clogged pore over here. It's not pretty. I really like a natural concealer for the summertime. I feel like it just works really well for my skin tone. Oh yeah, and if you guys watched my video yesterday, um, get ready with me while I'm losing my mind, lol. Um, I started talking about the skincare, and then I think I never, I think I lost my train of thought. But I was gonna tell you now. Um, with that multivitamin brightening treatment, I actually. I was seeing results, but I'm actually not going to be using it for the summer because I decided I want to be really, really tan. So I'm actually using the bronzing coconut milk on my face, and I'm just going to make it all tan. So instead of, like, lightening the dark spots, I'm going to be darkening the light spots. And then, you know, go back to... um trying to brighten and lighten after summertime because it's just going to be like fighting with each other if I do that. All right, so perfect base for a flawless face, Silk by Senegens. This is not only a primer, but it is also a treatment. Some people choose to wear it at nighttime just for a facial treatment to shrink their pores and help them uh, you know, get rid of all those fine lines, wrinkles, etc. It's kind of like, oh, it smells so good. It's kind of like a miracle in a bottle, but is an all scentogens. Um, I prefer to use it as a primer because I like a nice layer of something that's really working for me. Um, you can find a lot of decent primers, but is it skincare also? I just feel like at this stage in the game. I don't even want to put anything on my face unless it's working for the greater good because I'm trying to fix this thing here. All right. We're going to do a little blendy blend today. So I'm not going to do like all the steps of the tinted moisturizer, all of that. What we're going to do is actually blend. We got medium CC. It's running low. It's running low. Oh, come on. You are running low. Okay. Medium CC. One pump dewy. Half a pump of the golden tan. And translucent loops. Okay, did you know you can just mix your powder in? What? Okay, that's so fun, isn't it? Let's see. All right. And this is going to be a nice little concoction. I actually really love the results of mixing the powder in with the liquid. I don't know. It just gives it a silky, like, Mom. what? Um, in a minute. And I made this foundation just, you know, a little bit tanner than I actually am. because then I don't have to really do bronzer. Okay. 
I really like the feeling of um, when you mix it. So I'm going for this like beach bunny jungle themed um, summertime glow. And I think that was like just the mix to do it. So now, you know, usually your face is always lighter because you're doing your skincare and then like your body gets more tan, especially when you're protecting your face. So if you just add a little bit of something dark to your foundation, it'll help give you that seamless look. And then of course, always blend down to this area to just make it be completely seamless. I mean, like I'm looking bronze right now. And then for that little problem area there, I'm gonna put like a little bit. All right, so then I have a little bit of this golden here. I'm going to take my brush like this. Tell you, when you have a hairstyle like this, your face better be on point. So when I, you know, usually I just kind of whoop, whip it on, but. All right, I want to try terracotta blush today. Not necessarily try it because I already obviously use it, but we're going to use it today. I'm going to go ahead in with this to use it. It's kind of, I like this gold glitter. Kind of gives like a bronzy... Kind of just deepens up that bronze. Just get like all the way up there. This spot's gonna bother me. I already used that vacuum cleaner stuff on it too. It's better than it was. Hopefully by tomorrow it's gone. Um, terracotta. I have one terracotta in stock, so that's kind of what's prompting me to um, use this because somebody was asking me about a blush. So, some terracotta. I think this is a really good one for a natural look, too. Um, hopefully I didn't put too much. Such a nice peachy pink. And this looks good on dark skin, light skin, tan skin. I mean, really, you anyone, anyone can use terracotta and it's going to be perfect. Actually, most of them I think anyone could use. The only questionable one would be Pouty Pink. Um, I just think it doesn't show up as good on darker skin. Unless maybe you, like, really make it buildable. But anybody can wear anything they want. Like, there's no rules. Like, throw that idea right out the window. There are no rules to makeup. And if there were, then your job is to just break them. And do what you want because it's your creativity. I'm taking Eye Illuminator. That really woke me up, did it not? 
I have one eye illuminator in stock. And this is anti-aging. That's what I'm telling you. I don't wear stuff to cover up. I'm, I'm wearing stuff to benefit while it's looking pretty. And I tell you what, if you're lacking sleep, you want the eye illuminator. Okay. So we got all that. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and just get right into the lip sense. I'm going to wear Summer. The one that I didn't wear before. I used Summer Fun already. Now I'm going to go with Summer Love. This is gorgeous. Um, this is... It's a freshie. I'm going to crack that baby. Summer Love. Let's just get a really good look at how frosty that is. So frosty. No glitter, not sparkly, but a true frost. All right, I need to wipe my lips off. Oh, I used that lip scrub the other day. Cinegens just knocks it out of the park. I tell you what, that exfoliating lip polish is like bomb. I don't care even if you don't wear lipstick, anything, that is good. It's good. It's good. All right. Yeah. Summer love. I know I'm going to keep confusing the two. I got to try to remember love is deeper. It's a deeper color. This is so fun. You know what? I don't know if any of you remember or if you're in my age group. Back when I was, I say, maybe second grade, third grade, fourth grade, I would walk to the local Rite Aid and um, Wet n Wild was like the only makeup there. And they had a gloss the same shade, and I swear to God, I wore it every day. I loved it. Loved it. And that's kind of reminded me of that. All right, here we go. Let's do our three coats. So metallic, really metallic. Here, I don't like you look on the ad side. I'll go over here. And if my nose ring falls out, I swear, down the sink every day. That is frosty. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. Look at that. Look at that from far away. Like, ooh, that is in your face. I like it. Hi, La. You didn't take off your Nike, did you? Huh? Okay, good away. All right, there we are. Oh my God, that is so metallic pink. I love it. 
That is really, really cool. Okay. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with, oh, you know what? We are gonna go with Orchid. Yeah. I need to do some of these eyebrows, y'all. All right. Eyebrows are next. All right, eyeshadow. Okay, Mocha Jaw and Shell. Oh no, Mocha Jaw and Shimmer. Yeah. Mocha Jaw, Shimmer, and Shell. This is going to be a really nice look. Look at that. It's already making a, a difference there. That is really hank. I love Orchid Gloss. If I could have like a drinking glass that color. I would be so happy. Boom! Now that is a metallic frosty pink. Okay, so let's do this. Going for a natural eye look. So I'm going to this Mocha Java Shimmer. I think I'm gonna um blend this and then kind of like reapply more where I where I want it. I need to wash my brushes so and I literally don't have time. I should put my husband on brush washing duty. The one time I was doing it at the sink, he's like, oh, you don't have to do the dishes. I'll do that. I'm like, I wasn't. I'm washing my makeup brushes. <sighs> Mocha Java Shimmer is, like, just a really nice one for, um, a very subtle smoke. Because when you have lips like this, you don't need crazy eyes. Unless you were going to do, like, all black and just have, like, heavy, heavy black with this. That would look sick. But... I'm trying to do more natural today. Although that does give me some inspiration for another day. Because I love black smoky eyes. I don't do a lot of that in the summer though. Alright, we are at the 18 minute mark. I'm interested to see... I think my camera's going to cut me off again at the 22 point, which is, I need to go to the store. But we did find an app to combine them all together. So if you don't like clicking on three videos or two or however long this takes, give it a while. Um, because we are combining them and we are putting these on YouTube. But um, I always like to show my VIP group first because you guys are awesome. And if you're not in my VIP group and you're watching this on YouTube, go to Facebook and send a request to Erica's Glam Junkies. And Erica is spelled with a three instead of an E. And Junkies has a Z at the end instead of an S. And then there's skulls on both ends. That is a really simple, nice look, isn't it? Okay. Hi, little lovey poo. Are you a tiny lovey baby? Oh, he's giving kisses. Does babies give, giving kisses? 
You can tell how tan I've got, because normally we have the same skin color. Isn't he just a beautiful thing? <laughs> I need to love him for a minute. Boy, 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 <laughs> My boy, little thing. Boy, boy. All right, we need a matte skin color up here. Don't touch my face with a frickin' highlighter. All right. Okay, I think sugar cane is actually, oh, maybe cake mix. What do you guys think? Sugar cane, are you leaving me? Okay, love you, baby. I'm happy that you're being such a good boy today. I love it when you're just a good boy and you play. All right, cake mix, sugar cane. We'll go with sugar cane. Just because, like, I don't need a dewy look under my eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? And this is not really skin tone. It's more like lavender, but it's there. It's something on there. All right. Next, we're going to need eyebrows, highlight. You know, I'm really just into this palette right now. This palette is gorgeous. Um, how about Regal, the peach, to go along with the terracotta. And if you're local and you want your makeup done by me for a special occasion, or just to look hot one day, 30 bucks a face, I use all this good stuff on you. And... You know what, I am thinking I just want a little touch of the translucent loose right through here, just to, just to make the look really seamless. Wow, my phone is not announcing that it's cutting me off. This is amazing. Look at that. Just a seamless, seamless blend off, like, what? Three sprinkles? This stuff will last you a long time. This is definitely a purchase. Like, totally worth it. Oh, my God. This one is so pretty, too. I okay, that's it. Next video... I'm using this. This is the Translucid Loose in Silver Rose. So pretty. It's good, like, especially over blush or something, or even your eyes. Like, this, you can use it for anything. All right, let's, let's hit that shell glitter one more time, because I think that cake mix kind of overpowered it just a smidge. I like it. Okay. Up next, another video. I'm going to be swatching all of these nudes. So if you were watching vi this video hoping that that was that one, sorry. I'm trying to just make everything so it can have its own title, easy to find. Um, let's go with our usual 
Garnet Mocha Java eyebrows. And of course the angled brush. Other videos coming up on my other YouTube channel, Sassy Rockstar 3, which is my lifestyle channel. I'm going to be talking about the roller coaster of a spiritual awakening. So if that is something that interests you, head on over there. My Empress of Glam channel is basically for showing off all this awesome stuff that I sell. All right. Typical. Now we get the Mocha Java in there and then pretty much done. Just some mascara. I'll throw on some mascara. And I think this is like a really summery look. And my ultimate goal with my hair is to be like an icy blonde, light blue or purple, um, pastel, icy, silvery shade. Hmm. A lot of people have asked me about microblading. I do not think it's something I would actually do. Um, not because I don't think everybody's results look amazing, but if I'm paying $500 to somebody to tattoo something on me, it's going to be a back piece. And I like changing my look so much. Like, I... Um, I don't mind doing, I don't mind, I don't mind doing my eyebrows every day because sometimes I want to make them blue, sometimes I want to make them black, sometimes I want to make them mulberry, like, I just, I mean, now if somebody really does just do the same thing every day, which a lot of people do, it's fine, but, um, that might be really helpful. Alright, I won't bore you with my mascara. I'll pause it and come back with uh, the final look. Thanks for watching so far. All right. You know, I'm really not in love with this Urban Decay Troublemaker. I don't, I don't know. It's like, it's okay. I mean, I'm going to like use it up because I bought it, but like, this is three coats and I'm going for a fourth. Like, if you had your eye on this stuff and you were wondering... My opinion is that um, I, I wouldn't waste my money on it. I won't buy it again. I mean, I'm going to use it because I obviously bought it. But I don't feel like it's anything special that's really making my eyes pop. Anyways. Thanks for joining me on this Get Ready With Me and have an awesome day and be on the lookout for those other videos coming your way like literally right after this. Bye!